very good preparation uh, for the Champions Cup. A lot of players have said that. In in what ways the, uh, do T20 cricket exactly equip you for the challenges of uh, T20 cricket? Um, I I don't think um, you can you can have too much similarity in both formats. But I think from getting uh, you know some game time from that point of view, I think it helps a lot of people to stay in the zone of you know being match ready uh, to say the least. Um, it's different for different people. Uh, some people cannot connect the two formats at all. Some people take bits and pieces and put it into place in all three formats. So, as I said, just being you know match fit, uh, just having the rhythm of bowling, uh, the flow of batting, just the mental setup of scoring runs, of being in tough situations, is something that you can carry forward to all the formats. And IPL being a high competitive tournament um, allows you to be in that zone. You know, play against the world class uh, players from all the all the teams. And um, yeah, so I, I think it's. It could be the most competitive uh, sort of, you know, games that you could be a part of before something like Champions Trophy. Yeah, but defending a title, yes, not defended the world title at all. So, so defending champions, how tough is it? What are the challenges? I think the, the first challenge is not to think about the fact that we are defending the title. Um, when we went there the last time, we just wanted to enjoy ourselves as a young unit and then we ended up winning the tournament and we ended up creating a team which has done so well so far. But from that team as well, there have been a few changes made uh, you know, from, from that team as well. So right now, I think, um, again, our mindset is very similar to go out there and enjoy our cricket, which we have done in the past couple of years. And in Test cricket, we have been able to reach the top with that mindset, you know, having the hunger to win. and. We want to take it across all formats, and um, ruthlessness is something that we definitely speak about all the time. Even if we close series off, we want to win it, you know, without losing a game or maybe drawing a game as well, if possible. So, yeah, we go in with that kind of mindset, and I think that goes a long way uh, in a tournament like this. If you can think about the games in that manner, I think you'll get the results you want uh, more often than not. Uh, आपको क्या लगता है? नहीं आप तो अपनी राय बना के आए मुझे लग रहा है। Thank you sir. Thank you. I think because the tournament is much shorter and you've got the top eight teams in the world, I think the competitiveness of the tournament is much higher from the world go. In a World Cup, you can still have league games and you have yourself to you know, get into the World Cup and then maybe dominate in the later half. But in Champions Trophy, you need to be on top of your game from game one. If you're not, then your chances go down pretty soon. So I think that's the biggest challenge in Champions Trophy and um, something that all the players love playing for sure because it's it's so competitive and all the fans love watching it. It's an ICC event, so you know it's it's going to get a lot of eyeballs. Uh, but in general, for the players, that's the that's the feedback we get. You know that we have to be on top of our game no matter what from ball one of the first game. देखिए वो जिस तरीके के players हैं दोनों उनको I don't think कि मैं किसी तरीके से use कर सकता हूँ उनके या I mean उनके पास इतना experience है कि अगर उनको you know freedom दिया जाए कि आप अपनी game खेलें middle order में तो I'm sure कि उनको टीम में सबसे ज्यादा पता है ऑब्वियसली कि कैसे मैच बिल्ड करना है कैसे जिताना है या डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन से कैसे निकालना है तो जो अच्छी बात देखने को मिली लास्ट सीरीज में भी कि दोनों खुल के खेल रहे थे और एंजॉय कर रहे थे एक दूसरे के साथ बैटिंग करना जो पहले उन्होंने किया है विदाउट हैविंग यू नो दैट बर्डन इनिशियली तो वो चीज बहुत अच्छी लगी एक देख के कि जब आपके इतने बड़े प्लेयर दोनों ऐसे खुले माइंडसेट से खेल रहे हो तो टीम का कॉन्फिडेंस एक अलग हो जाता है जो आपके ऊपर के प्लेयर्स हैं वो भी मोर कॉन्फिडेंट खेलते हैं 
और आई थिंक ओवरऑल वो टीम के लिए बहुत अच्छा था टीम एनवायरनमेंट भी चेंज रूम में उससे बहुत ज्यादा बूस्ट हुआ क्योंकि ऐसे दो प्लेयर अगर अच्छे माइंडसेट में हो तो टीम का आउटलुक ही अलग हो जाता है तो आई थिंक वो हमारे सबसे स्ट्रांगेस्ट दो पिलर मैं मानूंगा टीम में और uh, वो जितने अच्छे माइंडसेट में रहेंगे टीम को उतना ही बेनिफिट होगा Do you have a mic? Sorry. Yeah, it's a fun one. Sorry. Yeah, looking at the format and the conditions, uh, what is it uh, from the last campaign? Would you like to maintain uh, in this format, like uh, in this? Um, see, the last uh, Champions Trophy, the two things that I felt were takeaways for us was the opening partnership. Uh, the revelation of Rohit and Shikhar as an opening part partner, uh, I mean opening uh, pair, was something that you know, it was um, a very great thing to see for all Indian fans and for the Indian cricket team as well. So I think that was a massive factor in us winning the Champions Trophy. Plus, um, Ash and Jadeja were on top of their game anyway. But the, the way the fast bowlers bowled and the way we fielded, I think we were the best fielding side in the tournament back then. So these three things we identified back then as well. So we would like to stick to the same strengths, and we believe that you know these are the three factors which really determine how you play in conditions uh, such as England and how how far you can go in a champions uh, in a uh, tournament like Champions Trophy. So I felt these three were our strongest uh, factors in the last uh, championship. Thank you, sir. Sir. Uh, Not really. I mean, for me, it's. Uh, I I feel that you know, you improve as a cricketer every series that you play. Sometimes you know, not in our own heads, but uh, the atmosphere around us is built in a way that that becomes like a life or death kind of series. And especially for subcontinent cricketers, which I don't understand why. You know, if if players don't do well in India and they go back, there's no real hype around it. But if we don't do well away from India, it's you know, it's like a knife hanging on your on your neck. So. Um, I don't believe in those things. I would never play for redemption. Um, my only motivation is to keep winning games for my country, and it doesn't matter the condition I'm playing at. It might be, you know, in, in subcontinent, might be England, Australia, South Africa. The aim always is to win games, and I'm willing to do whatever I can in my abilities to be able to achieve that for the team. So, people might look at it as, you know, redemption opportunity or stuff like that. But in my head, I don't. Think of those things at all. For me, it's a game of cricket played anywhere in the world. Virat, this is Vinay. Yeah, I mean, after the kind of season we've had, when you have a tournament like that, it, it, you know, it, it teaches you at a lot of, uh, it teaches you about yourself as a person at, at a, you know, a few levels. So, I think from the mindset point of view, uh, it made me realize that you can't possibly do everything in every game, and um, sometimes people might start looking at you like that, but. As a human being, you need to understand your limitations as well sometimes, and you need to take a backward step. Uh, sometimes, you know, it was so bizarre. Everything we tried was just going against us. I've, I've never experienced that in a side. You know, all all not 11, all 15 guys in the squad were on in the same mindset. I've never seen that happen. So it was quite bizarre. Maybe it was to teach me that you know you need to balance things out and and take a backward step in how much you can do on the field, um, in how much intensity you can play with. Maybe choose your phases. And you know, as I keep getting older, I think those things need to be a learning as well because you don't want to burn out too quickly as well. So, yeah, those were the biggest learnings for me. I was pretty fortunate that you know I got to experience that kind of a uh, a time, and uh, it teaches you a lot as a captain. It teaches you a lot uh, composure-wise, and you take t take away a lot from failures, and that's something that I've always cherished. From the outside, this. Indo Pakistan games always looked upon as a mother of all battles. So inevitably, there's always something that goes around diplomatically on the border across. So are, do the players keep that tension away when you take the field, or how do you approach it? How is the team approaching it right now? 
and see with all due respect i mean uh, whatever else is going on um, you know around an issue you literally you can't even think of as a cricketer you can't even think of your partner at the non striker's end when you're facing a ball so forget thinking about you know things that are not in any way in your control for us as cricketers it's it's about playing the game that we love uh, that feeling never changes yes india pakistan game is always um you know exciting game for all the fans watching and uh, people in general the atmosphere in the stadium is different is different from any other game but for us as cricketers as i mentioned and you can ask anyone from either of the teams that it's just a game of cricket the hype created around it is not in our control we prepare the same way for every game um the atmosphere around the ground is different yes but in our heads nothing really changes whether you're playing pakistan australia england south africa new zealand it's it's exactly the same for us um नहीं सर कोई कोई बात करने की जरूरत नहीं होती ऐसा नहीं कि हम पहली बार मैच खेल रहे हैं उनसे तो हर बार यही सवाल आता है और हर बार यही जवाब होता है कि ऐसा कुछ अलग स्पेशल नहीं प्लान किया जाता है और ऐसे कोई अलग स्ट्रेटेजीज नहीं बनाई जाती हैं और कुछ अलग मोटिवेशन देने की जरूरत ही नहीं है क्योंकि अगर आप इंडिया के लिए खेल रहे हैं तो आई डोंट थिंक कि एक टीम के अगेंस्ट आपको ज्यादा मोटिवेटेड होने की जरूरत है येस यू नीड टू हैव पैशन बट यू कांट बी टू इमोशनल अगेंस्ट वन साइड सो आई फील दैट यू हैव टू प्ले विद द सेम काइंड ऑफ पैशन रिगार्डलेस ऑफ हुई अगेंस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच